My name is Andy Smith and I'm an Apprentice Coordinator for LGB Training. In the West Country Wasps I act as Club President and also Head Coach. The idea behind IGR Rugby is to create a fun inclusive environment for people who wouldn't necessarily be involved in the sport or people who feel they've not been comfortable or confident enough to join a club. It's something quite unique that we offer. Um, a lot of, as much as all rugby clubs would love to say they offer that environment, it's very, very daunting going to a sports club for the first time, especially if you've never played. And we offer a variety of levels that others might not necessarily offer, and also an environment where people can just be themselves. So I was already friends with one of our players, Tom, and he just happened to mess message me one day and say, how do you fancy playing rugby? And I was like, okay. I haven't played for a while, so I was quite excited. I love being in um, an all-male environment. That's just something I've always been like since I was a child. So most of my friends growing up have been male. So I'm really comfortable and most comfortable in a group of men. Um, and yeah, so it works for me and it doesn't feel wrong. It feels completely right in that respect. We uh, tend to uh, go out after uh, training sessions at the McDonald's to just have something to eat and we usually chat about training or anything else happening in our lives. We also do uh, go out uh, after matches just for drinks to celebrate the game and bond with other teams to get to know them better uh, off the pitch and so it's quite a more community experience. So we have come to means to me a inclusive place that you can play sports and not have to worry about homophobia or discrimination a really good group of people where you can enjoy and play rugby. But I think the committee um, works really hard to try and resolve issues in the groups. Um, players sometimes have issues with themselves and with other players and we try and sort out and manage it as best as we can. Um, well, my interest, I had a, a previous interest in, in uh, inclusive rugby anyway, and I started following the Wessex Wyverns based in Southampton purely because I believed in their philosophy of inclusive sport. And then I met Tom, Tom told me about the West Country Wasps and introduced me to them, and that's pretty much where it, where it started. So when Tom introduced me to the Wasps, we went up on Plymouth Home and he threw the ball to me. Um, I didn't want to do it at first and all those horrible feelings from school and childhood came back and it was like, what's this alien thing that, that's being thrown to me? And just having the rugby ball in my hands for the first time without, without being shamed, without being ridiculed, without being picked on, being punched, being, you know, was just revolutionary for me. And at the age of 46, it's taken me a while to, to get to that point and it made all the difference to me. And that was when the penny dropped, really, for inclusive rugby. That's how important it is to have an organisation or, a, or a, a group like this. It, it just, I'm not the only one with that kind of experience. And it makes a massive difference, I think, to people's self-confidence, mental health, a whole gamut of different things. I was uh, about 60 minutes in, decided to have a pick and go. And uh, next thing I know, there's two players that slam into the side of me. One goes high, one goes low. And as I'm fallen down, my legs like this on an angle, and a guy's entire body went on top of the leg. And uh, you could hear this snap that just seemed to echo around like the whole field. And there was like a split second in my head where I was thinking, was that me or him? And then I felt this massive pain sear up my leg and I went, oh, it's me. And I started like uh, screaming after that. <laughs> But that was quite brutal, so that happened in October. Uh, I'll get out of the boot in March, and then I've got about six to nine months physio, and then I can't really do contact sports ever again. <laughs> but it was worth it. <laughs> I, got, I got a few good runs in. It's, it's rugby perfectly safe. Mum is a freak accident. Uh, I'm Josh Carter, and outside the club, I am the club secretary, as well as the touch coach for our development and touch team. I am the um, secretary, so I organise committee meetings, I write up minutes. Um, I'm also, in the last couple of months, I took a little role um, to try and develop a touch team. Um, West Country Ross is fantastic at uh, being all-inclusive for gay men, but we wanted to be all-inclusive for women, 
as well as trans people. So we've started developing new touch team. Um, and I am the head coach for that touch team for the, the, uh, for the moment. And it's going well. We, we, we've, we're recruiting a, a decent load of people. Do it, take the plunge. Rugby's a game, if you overthink it, if you worry about it, you'll always have those niggles. The best thing to do is just turn up, see what you think. We're a very friendly group. We've seen players already who've never touched the ball and a few months later are happily fighting it out on the pitch. If you turn up with us, we will make sure that you're brought on at the level you're comfortable with. You won't be thrown in at the deep end. We will help. There are people who can help you on the field, off the field. Take the plunge, don't think, go for it. Just come along for a training session because uh, we offer four training sessions for free uh, so they can try out the club and see if they like it or not. Just come along. The main thing is just give it a go. Within the first few weeks, I've never felt as part of a team as I did with the West Country Wasps. Come on, you know, come on your own, bring a friend, whatever, if you need some support, but just definitely do it. Do it. Like, I always think that never regret anything for making me smile.